Hey yo, welcome to another Midwest review. Coyote CS 2220. We're doing the 400 hour review. It's went and pulled her out. We got some snow a common. 425, battery dead as a put. Oh, it's just dead. Good flat, nothing. That's kind of annoying. Typical piece of crap fleet farm battery. It only lasts me about four years. So I got this out to jump it and notice, hey, we clicked her past the 400 mark. We're coming up on two years of ownership. So, yeah, just over. 400.8. Still a good little machine. No major issues. Ropes it down because it was in the shed and ain't going to be doing nothing with the loader. The only real complaint I have is down where these turnbuckles go. No fence. And they bent as soon as I got it. Probably within the first 50 hours. I learned to run them really tight. And they haven't really bent anymore ever since. Otherwise, it's and a solid little machine. Mower duck works good. It could really use a three-speed transmission with a higher road speed. But what other problems have I had? One of these grease zerks in here, you know, that's really good to protect them the way they sink them in on the coyote. Until you're using the style of grease gun I was using that would not let go, so I broke one of the grease zerks. So I gotta replace that. Otherwise, yeah, 400 hours, going strong. Started every time this winter. We haven't had crap for snow, so we'd have had a normal snow winter. It'd probably be 430, 450, somewhere in there by now. But what do you do? Now we got eight inches coming because we ain't gonna get all the winter without having to plow snow, I guess. Now that the ground is all thawed out, nice and soft. So that's just going to be a dandy to plow with. But yeah, 400 hours, still like it. I'd buy it again if I didn't have it.